Hi friends, what's this input box? Here instead of di entering directly the date, uh, year, month, etc., you can just present a calendar to the user and user can select a date and give it as input. So that's a better way so we can retain the format we required. And, and for to display this, we have to import this TK calendar and if it is not installed, just pip install TK calendar and it will be available to you. Watch this window. <clears throat> Once I select third, then you can see that 10 days beyond third up to 13th I can select and 14th onwards all are disabled. Similarly, before third also I can't select anything. That is, uh, we have used that minimum date and maximum date to restrict the uh, selectable range. That's also we'll learn how to do this. This is our basic template what we are using and you can see at line number two we have uh, used the TK calendar. Now let's start displaying it, our calendar. So cal, we are given the name, uh, date entry, fine. Now my w is my parent window where I'll be placing it. Select mode. This is the one select uh, mode. I am giving it as uh, day. Now if I'm not giving any year, month and uh, uh, year, month and day, then it will by default, it will pick up the current date or today's date. So. That's all. Let's see first. Then we'll add that. Now let I am placing it on my grid. Row equal to one. Then column equal to one. Slightly will uh, not flush it with the left edge. So pad x will give it as uh, fifteen. That's all. Let me run this and see how our window looks. It is here. So this is the calendar by default it picks up the current date whatever it is current date it picks up I can change it to any date. I will add a default date by telling that year is 2021 let's say month is 7 and uh, day is say 16. So this is when I once I open it this date will be by default will be selected. I can change it also. You can see, yeah, it is 7, 16, 21. So this is there. Now I can change it to any other date. It will take it. We'll add event to our calendar. So once the calendar is changed or any new value is taken, then the same value will copy it and display it in a label. So for that purpose, because these requirements will frequently come where you will want to trigger some other action based on the once the date is selected in a calendar. So for that, let's start with a string variable tk string reason of using string variable is uh, we can monitor the changes because it has a trace method we'll see that so this is a string variable i declared it now here okay let me just remove this part i will just add a text variable i will i am just adding a uh, text variable equal to uh, my SCL. Okay, this this string variable I am connected it to here. Then what I will do? I will uh, create a trace method here. So trace is any change in this value of this variable, it will execute whenever I am. That's why I am giving W means any change, any write operation, any change in that. Let me just it will execute the UPD. This function it will execute. So here I will write that function. The, uh, let me go up a bit here i will i will just uh, write this function selling that this is my declare the function here my update and uh, all the arguments will i'll take it because it's a string variable you can read our uh, details on that that uh, tutorial is available how to use it and more or less all in the tick enter windows we use string variable for on change event so any data is or any widget could change then this uh, string variable associated string variable will trigger it for the timing let's pass it now where we want to display it we want to display it in a uh, label so we'll declare a label here l1 i'm just giving the name tk dot label where it is it is my w or my parent window is there let's slightly change it to busy equal to yellow background I am just giving you can remove it also now let me place it on the grid where it will be it will be neck right of the calendar so row equal to one and sorry column column equal to two because uh, one is 
calendar so column 2 means right of it it will go so now we have done this now what more we required is this will execute here what i will do we will say l1 dot config now what it will config it, it is a dynamically the text it will config now in this case we will see that uh, this inside this particular uh, function will get the and change the string variable so sorry we will get the value of the string variable by telling cell get this particular method of the string variable will face the data of the string variable and assign it to config we are just configuring the label here that's all let's just see this save it and run it now yeah it is available now let me just select it 12 so whatever i have selected it it has come you can change this format also you want instead of 12 it should tell the sorry 12 is the date here 8 is the month so you want that it should uh, tell me the uh, august or july like that it, it, that format also by using strf time you can change it also so this is one way but next is we'll see uh, on a button click how we'll change this now we'll go for button so we'll remove this and we don't require a string variable now so where i have declared here here i have i'll remove this string variable now insta label before the list then this one also i'll remove it before i uh, move to the label in between we'll add one button so we'll say b1 button uh, this equal to tk dot button my parent window now the text on it will write it as read or you wh whatever you want you can write it now because the button click is there so we'll add the command command equal to bda lambda now i'll say my update my update is the function i will be executing it here so let's place it on the grid this is just after the calendar before the label will put so grid row equal to one now column equal to two and this column will the for the label will make it three so it is in between the column and the calendar so uh, that's uh, so far it is fine now we'll write here something else now what you will write because now we'll say instead of selection as gate what you will do there is no more uh, string variable see this uh, data date entry is a part of an entry so um, uh, entry widget so we have used the gate method here so we can that is why it is available now we'll say get date now we will say get date now this is a uh, get date will give us but which get i have to mention cal fine so this is what will be and this returns us date as a string so you may will see how we'll change the format and all so that's all let's just save it run it once now the we are, there is no string variable it is directly on a button click we should able to run it where it is it's not opening anything cell is not defined okay somewhere i have to remove yeah here i have to remove this because i am not using anymore the text variable fine saving it so running it yeah it has opened up now i will select some other date let me select change the date and read so this is the value we are getting the moment i clicking the button you can say this particular line line number six is executing and putting the date now let's slightly change this what we will do we know that this is a get date is uh, giving us this we will change slightly this we can also use other functions we'll see what what way we can um, even uh, because it's a entry so we can use like this also l1 dot config text equal to cal dot get because it's entry wizard we can this also will work now we'll learn how to change the format now for changing the format we have to convert it to a date object because it is a string only so let's see that we are creating one more get date let's hold it first in a variable now we'll create a string str equal to dt 
now strf time so this will particularly will tell us uh, sorry this will give us the formatted output in the as a uh, as a formatted output in as a string uh, method so we'll give the format now what format do you want suppose we, i am just sorry i'll percent as it is d and then dash you can change this format as you like so let's say m and uh, percentage y fine now this i will change it to now this i will assign l1 dot config what i will config the text equal to str okay you should not use str there was a comment let me just put it str1 because it's a str is a inbuilt function also fine so this is how we'll change the format now what's this format we'll see how we can change this so fine now i will let me change it read so this is now you see the dash now instead of eight i want that month name should display so what i will do this list is available whatever the format for what output it is available in the link is there you can change the format now let me save this and run once now i have used that displayed the month as a string as a sorry as a month name you should display just see the august so like this even if you want that four digit year then you got to make it y k in upper case so that way you can change this whatever way you want and uh, now let me just read it so like this you can keep on changing this now this is all fine now let's go how we'll read this uh, selected value using set date while presenting to a user we want that we should uh, present a date which is decided by us or suppose you have taken a entry date from the database so you want it to the that entry date should be selected by default let user change it so for that purpose we, we will use set date and we don't require all these functions we just want that uh, a particular date to be set for that so for that purpose we removed all these thing now let's declare a date now this is a date object we will be creating so we'll say 2021 now let me say one month i have taken now 26th okay so this is the date we are taking now for that purpose i have to import date okay import date entry this is a from date and time from date time import date because i am creating a date object here so i will do that now i am created the date here uh, this is in the format of month you can do a lot of uh, changes and setting can you can do now let me just uh, this is my sorry it, i will do one thing i will bring it down now after my declaration of my calendar i am putting it cal now i'll use set date set date dt now what will happen with this this calendar when i open it this is by default it will be selected the date what i have given now july 26 let's see how it works now you can see this is in the, by default it is set to this value so it may be a requirement that uh, the default it should be the value and the user can change it say i want to give it your date of entry to this class your uh, date of admission i can set it here so if someone wants to change it or whatever further I, action i can do i can proceed it but i want to set it a default date uh, sorry it's not a default date it's a date what is from the internally i have collected it so this we can take it from a database or from some other calendar also we can take this and that we present to the user now the max and minimum date the range i think i think this is going to be too long we'll do it in the next uh, uh, our uh, tutorial so just to watch that and uh, i'll request you please do subscribe and press the bell icon so you will be notified whenever uh, we add the different parts and we keep on adding new new tutorials also and uh, if you have any doubt question or suggestion for us please use the comment section below and do you post it and uh, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching